What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper. Hey, chooching on my 320. Uh, 2021 St. Nicholas KS. And in it, Haunted Bookshop. I needed something a little bold this morning. Not that Haunted Bookshop is incredibly bold, but... Um, man, I'm going on two days of no sleep and uh i just needed to just sit down and just grab a bowl of something that i don't know had a little punch to it i guess getting closer on my house but i've been having to pull all nighters when i say i haven't slept in two days what i'm saying is i've been getting home at probably a well, last night I got home after midnight, and um, you guys know how when you have a really hard week at work, and, uh, you know, maybe Friday comes along and you're spent, you know, you're just exhausted. You really need one day, if you typically have weekends off, you need one day just to, like, get your head straight that you've even got a day off because you've been working so hard. You know, so Saturday's just kind of spent um, on that. And then Sunday, you know, you can really have a day of relaxation, but sometimes you can work so much that, you know, when you get home, you're still at work. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, just to unwind from all that you've done throughout the week. Um, so I get home, I, you know, I, I'm just working out there at the house, you know, until midnight and then you get home <clears throat> and then you shower and you get something to eat and then it's two in the morning and you lay down and you're all hyped out and you're thinking about everything that you did that day. And so then you wake up and, you know, at six or whatever, you don't really sleep. You're kind of like in this zombie mode. But it's a good thing. Work is good and we're making progress. So thankful for that. Um, but I got Haunted Bookshop in here. And it's really hitting the spot. Forgive that noise in the background, that's boats going up and down our river right there. And cars towing their boats. So right now we got salmon running. And um, in my backyard, we uh, were right on the river. So, You got these guys going up and down all morning and night. Well, not at night. They got to stop fishing when the sun goes down. But the salmon is running. I'm not much of a fish eater myself. But when, uh, when I do eat fish, it's <clears throat> more of the cod. Salmon's pretty good, but... I like the cod better. Shellfish is, that's my jam. I love crab and lobster and scallops and clams and mussels. Oysters, if they're done right. We've got an oyster farm here and um, <clears throat> as well, we've got some of the best crab around. So, but these guys are going up and down, up and down. I don't know if they're doing any good, but they're definitely hard at it. So, hoping to be in our house by Friday. And uh, got in hardwood flooring last night. And, uh, didn't finish it, so I, I'm getting ready to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to take a nap, 
and then I'm gonna head out of here in about an hour and a half and be out there until the late hours of the night and see if we can get that flooring all the way done and then we're gonna start painting all that sheet rock, sheet rock and stuff we got on those walls. Also, I got a wood stove ordered up. I'm pretty stoked about that. One thing that I wanted for this house that we bought on the coast down here is I wanted a wood stove. And uh, the wood stove that we got is actually a pellet stove. So it's sort of wood, right? Sort of. You've got, you've got the heat, the flame. So that's all legit. Uh, but it's not all the way wood. But these pellet stoves, I am so excited about this pellet stove. Because this particular stove that we ordered... Um, if any of you guys ever grew up with wood stoves or you have wood stoves, you know that it is hard to control the temperature. I mean, it seems like they can go from extremes like really hot to really trying to make it work. You know, in the morning you got coals and you got to build a fire and all of that. And so it takes a while to heat up the house, but with what they have today with pellet stoves, you guys, you would, f I mean, it's amazing. The one that we got, it actually keeps the house at whatever temperature I want. It's got a thermostat inside of it. Could you imagine having a wood stove that has its own thermostat in it to where it loads wood when you need it, or it stops burning when you don't? Not only that, but if, let's say I get up early, so if I'm up at five in the morning, I don't want to build a fire. So what you can do with this particular pellet stove that we got is you can set timers on it. So if you wake up at four in the morning, uh, you wake up at five and you want the house warm an hour before, you can program it to turn on and start burning at uh, 4 a.m. So, um, and then it can turn off. So when you go to work and you know, you're not burning pellets, then it'll shut, you can program it to turn itself off at certain times. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, and it was, it was fairly inexpensive. I mean, we got the stove and the kit, everything like the piping for, I think it was 1400 bucks. So I'm looking forward to winter storms and having a nice fire in the living room, sort of a fire pellet stove, but it, it's, it's burning wood. So that should be here tomorrow uh, or Tuesday. And uh, looking forward to putting that in. I've always wanted a wood stove. I had them before a long time ago, but uh, nothing is just, I just love wood heat. Um, it burns hot and we live in an area with a lot of humidity, so it burns dry too. But the problem if you just burn straight cords of wood is it will make your house smell like a fire and, uh, you know, it is kind of dirty. So with the pellet stove, we're kind of getting the best of both worlds. But I don't mind regular wood. My wife does. But anyways, wanted to just hop on and tell you guys how thankful I am for your friendship and subscriptions and uh, getting to know you in the comments and <clears throat> being able to hang out with you guys and enjoy a smoke with you. I hope you're having a, a blessed weekend. That you're able to rest and just enjoy it. Because uh, fall's here. It's on its way for sure. And, uh, you know, we're going into new seasons and that can mean new things. Not just season, 
seasonal things, but in our lives, you know, new things happening. And uh, sometimes that's, that's good. So you guys have a blessed weekend. Hopefully the next time I see you guys, I'm going to be in my house with all this work done. Until then, you guys have a blessed weekend and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.